Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Now first of all this video series is going to be in a much much deeper manner and it starts from the very basics so be patient with me. Now this video is for lab setups. Now first of all the cheering point here is I'm not going to charge you anything extra for granting the lab access. Now many times in most of the security courses you have to pay some extra bucks in order to get the lab setup access. Now in this entire video series you will be creating your own lab setups by the things which I will be providing you. And you can enjoy the lab setups for the whole time and lifetime access. So that's the beauty about this course. So let's start installing everything on the Windows platform. The next video will be on Linux platform. So let's first give it a hit to the Windows platform. So in order to do that, we first need to get to our website. So I'll be opening up my website here. And here is a small URL that says wampserver.com slash en slash. Now this is the web server. First of all, we are trying to collect all the materials which we will be requiring during our course. So first is a WAMP server and if you click on this download, you will be scrolled down just here. You can choose any of the suitable versions like 32-bit or the 64-bit, whichever your system architecture allows you to do so. So just download this version. This is the first requirement. I have already downloaded it and let me show you how it looks like. And here it is. It just looks like this. And apart from that, we'll be also needing one more thing. So let's get that also. And you'll find it on my website, hiteshadri.com slash injection slash master dot zip. So this is the master file that you'll be requiring. I'll be updating these files on each and every video. So first of all, we require this thing. And it's asking me where you want to save this zip file. I want to save it on my desktop. It's a very small and very a bandwidth friendly file so let me show you what file it's of 125 kb only so i hope that's a good news for all of you so let's first try to install the web server i'll double click and assign the permission to run and i'll wait for a couple of seconds because windows is asking me about the permissions and i'll ass assign yes yes i want to install it and i accept the licensing agreement read out all those and i hope you will accept them then click on the next. I want to install it in a C drive slash WAMP. That's perfectly fine to me. If you want to change, you can change the location as well. After that, uh, I have already installed the WAMP, but I have uninstalled it just to show in the demonstration. So I'll click on it, yes. And if you want a desktop icon, you can uh, click on yes, this. Click on the next and install. It's just going to take a couple of moments to install all the WAMP. Uh, libraries or the files which you are going to require. So WAMP is really a beautiful thing for the Windows but this is not the only option. If you are an Apache friend you can also install a XAMPP or somewhat like that. I'll be using the WAMP and most of the time I'll be not using the Windows platform it is because since it's not common for the Linux user, Mac user and uh, Windows user but I'll tell you what I'll be using that as well in the next video. So it's just installing all the Apache, uh, all the services which I really require like MySQL or PHP and somewhat like that. So it just keep installing and I hope in the few seconds I'll get a finish. Okay, so it's done. Now it's asking me which explorer which you would you like to use as a default. And really I would like to use my Mozilla and here it is my Mozilla Firefox I'll assign it to this open I really like to work on the Mozilla for these video purpose and just a matter of choice you can assign Chrome Internet Explorer keep this as a localhost and click on the next and launch the web server now yes I want to launch it finish and yes launch it okay at the bottom here uh, it's just my annoying image uh, might be hiding I'll try to remove that uh, you can simply find your WAMP server here now in the WAMP server just left click on it and click on the www directory now in this www directory by default you will find the index.php and test mysql.php these are the default file I'll move my master to the here and I will right click here on the, and I'll click extract here now you can simply 
leave these files but I really don't like them to have so I'll delete them it's just a matter of perspective that you really like them or not now I'll open up my browser that is Mozilla Firefox and I'll type localhost and master and in that I'll find here is my SQL injection master course now it says it is the welcome page and you have to click here to set up your database once you click on it that's all done now this is all about you don't have to do anything else just one click now go to back and if you'll move out onto your www directory let me move on to that you will find that in the master we have got a couple of files now the important file here is lesson one and in order to move into the lesson one you have to just click here and you have to write lesson one make sure that you type ls capital although 89% or 90% time this is not case sensitive but in some cases it can be so be aware of that also be aware of this hyphen I have to put it there so it will be there and once you click on that the here is our first SQL injection master course lesson one there is also a hint for you and there is a nice annoying image for you so that you complete your lesson very quickly okay so apart from that we will be try to exploring all these things in the next chapter but one thing I really like to make sure that all the times when I go through with these lessons and everything you move on into the lesson you choose this index.php you hit a right click on it and open it with your favorite editor it can be notepad it can be notepad plus plus since it's a series about SQL injection so you should be familiar what type of code I'm using so make sure that you keep viewing these files in every lesson not in this lesson but of course from the upcoming lessons when we will really start our SQL injection course stuff so that's all for this video and uh, in this lesson we have only learned how to install the setup on the Windows environment but I would really like you to prefer go through on the same environment that I'll be going and that is in the next lesson so thank you so much for watching